I'm gonna do a booger check. There's nothing worse than filming a whole video where you have boogers in your nose and there's nothing you can do about it. Hi everyone, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip. Winter is here and during this time we all seem to suffer from the same thing. Dry mother skin. I know I have. I mean, at one point my knuckles were like so dry that I could scratch people without even just using my nails. I could just scratch them on my knuckles. Bitch, I'll cut you. So what do we do about this problem? We lather on tons of lotion, but that only lasts so long because then you just gotta reapply it again. I mean, I have used one thing which was like a balm for my skin that I made on this channel. If you want to take a look at that, you can check out right here. And that actually does last the longest than lotions or anything like that because lotions always tend to just dry out on me. But how do you get long lasting moisturized skin? Well, I just found out that there are some foods that you can eat that will cure dry skin. And luckily for you, I did a little bit of research and I made a list of foods so you don't gotta do any of the work. You can just be lazy and just watch this video and you'll be totally informed, hopefully. Seems easy enough. Let's get started. Food number one, avocados. Avocados are actually a great food for dry skin because they contain vitamin C and vitamin E, which are great antioxidants to brighten and help repair your skin. And it also contains mono and saturated fats, which are going to help moisturize your skin and keep it nice and soft and cure all those dead crevices. Now I'm not saying eat like a load of avocado because they can be terribly fattening, but a little goes a long way, and hey, why not? For some moisturized skin, I'd do it. Food number two, fish. Fish like salmon contains omega-3 fats, which help to moisturize the skin. But not only that, it helps to reduce inflammation and strengthen the skin. Personally, I'm not a fan of cooked fish. I like sushi rather than cooked fish. And I would assume that eating the raw fish is probably better because you get more nutrients that are not killed off by cooking them. So yeah, it's just an excuse to eat more sushi for me and that's not a problem. Number three, leafy greens. Leafy greens like spinach or kale contain omega-4 fatty acids. They also contain vitamins A, B, and E, as well as phytochemicals and folates. Fo folates. Fo 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 what is it? Folate. How do you say that? Folates. Folates? This word. I don't know. I'm not that smart. I only graduated with a 3.8. Phytochemicals and fo folates help hydrate the skin. I say yes to salads. Number four, nuts. Nuts like almonds contain omega-3 fatty acids. They also are, they also, they also are a monounsaturated fat. They contain vitamins A, B, and E, lots of minerals, and they have lots of antioxidants too. And these are all great things because they're gonna help promote new skin cell growth, which is gonna help keep your skin nice and soft. I said it's so New Jersey there. And again, these are a food that you want to eat in moderation. Too much of anything, I guess, is bad. Not too much of I like that. You can never have too much. Number five, eggs. We all know that eggs are great as a topical solution for skin, but they're also great to eat because they're high in protein, which helps skin cell regeneration. They all, and then a plane comes. Damn it! Never gonna get this video done! Kill me now. They also contain sulfur and lutein, which helps to promote skin hydration and elasticity. Number, I can't do this, I'm holding a book. Number six, mangoes. Mangoes are a fruit that is high in vitamin A and vitamin E, which is great for the skin, because we know that, because we've said that a million times already, so I don't need to keep repeating myself. But what they do specifically is promote skin cell circulation. And also, like our leaf greens, they contain phytochemicals, which is going to moisturize the skin. And mangoes are delicious, so why wouldn't you want to eat a mango? Go get one right now, bitch. Numero seven. That was not Spanish. Oh my god, I'm such a bad Latin. Olive oil. It's great as a topical solution as well as ingesting it. We know that olive oil has tons of vitamin E and it's also a monounsaturated fat, which is going to help keep our skin from drying out. I also mentioned olive oil in a superfoods video, which can help you actually lose weight as well. And if you want to check that video out to see what other foods you can eat to lose weight, you can click right above and check it out. Number eight. 
milk! Vegans are probably gonna fight me on the milk thing, but well, they're probably gonna fight me on the fish thing too, but whatever. Milk is really great because it has tons of vitamin A and it has lots of moisturating, <laughs> moisturating. It has lots of moisturizing fats, which are great for nourishing your skin. And I've actually used milk in the past as a topical solution, and if you wanna check that video out, feel free. That's an old one, so don't make fun of me. I was very unprofessional then. Oh, it's funny that I think I'm professional now. Number nine! Red peppers! Red peppers are great because they contain vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. The great thing about peppers is that they are able to promote skin circulation, which is going to help make your skin smoother and softer. Number 10, water. Now, I know you might be saying, duh, water, and I probably have mentioned this in many videos, that water is good for you because it helps you lose weight, it helps you flush it out, it helps clear your skin. I have to put it on this list because it really does help to hydrate your skin. It keeps it soft and supple and moisturized, and your body is like mostly water, so, you need to keep putting more water in, because if you don't, you're just gonna look like a dried out old prune. And who wants to look like that? I mean, I wanna look young and beautiful forever. That's why I drink lots of water. I'm actually really thirsty. Well, that's my whole tip. I hope that you understood half the shit I was talking about because I felt like I was all over the place today. It was good for me. Was it good for you? So make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next Monday for another cheap tip, and this Friday for more cheap laughs. Bye!